You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and I'm back for another episode of Road to Glory and today we're going to be continuing on with our Dutch squad um, I think you guys are enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, this is a great, great team to be playing with I'm, I just love it. Anyway, first thing we're going to do when we log on to the account is go and check our trade pile we've sold a couple of uh, bronze items that you may have seen me buying in the last episode or the episode before um, just, you know, stuff out of bronze packs that you can sell on and this is what it's all about, just selling on the stuff in your packs and you can get money back from it, so a uh, very good method there. Anyway, you can see here the team, um, a couple of contract issues, I go and sort those out and obviously Van Persie is injured and uh, I bought in bronze um, healing cards just because you can actually get more bronze healing cards than you can like gold ones for less money so um, definitely one to watch out for and you can see here we go into our first game we come up against this I uh, don't really know what to call it um, it's got Cameroon uh, some you know French player French league players um, Brazilians you know just people all over the place so not not the best of squads anyway this guy um, ran the ball out of play and I think that just made him insane and he had to quit so um, you know what can you do he just literally just quit like 12 minutes into the game because he ran the ball out and I was just like okay that was odd anyway um, we uh, get a win I think we get the coins for it so I wasn't too bothered I mean it doesn't cover the contract cost which is annoying um, but um, there's not much we can do about it so we go straight into another game we come up against this 4 2 2, two Serie A team, um, it's got silvers in it, um, but the silvers are quite good, like Cicinho, Lamella is good, um, and I think that's uh, Barini, I think, as well, up front, he's also got uh, Totti as well, so um, some good players there, we do um, take the lead here, um, he took me down in the box, if you saw, Huntelaar looked like he was going to get an easy header, um, but he just uh, scythed him down, and Van Persie steps up and happily scores. So uh, a nice goal from there from the penalty spot to give us the lead in the eighth minute. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, we continue on. And uh, he was actually playing very, very well. You can see here the disadvantage of a three at the back formation. Uh, my middle centre-back moving up and uh, giving them the space to go through. But we did take the lead again a couple of minutes later. You can see here Hunt, uh, Van Persie even. Um, chopping past one player and finessing that home so a nice goal from him uh, he comes back again though uh, you can see here him crossing the ball into the box and the keeper makes an absolute hash of it I mean I didn't defend very well um, and uh, the ball comes up and it wasn't actually the keeper it was my defender uh, trying to intercept the ball but it goes up into the air and he gets an easy header into the net um, which was unfortunate I didn't think he really deserved the second goal Anyway, continuing on, after half time, you can see here a quick free kick, it pulls, uh, proves his downfall, you can see him going through, and uh, Lenz scoring a nice goal, he just didn't close him down quick enough, and, you know, finished, finished pretty nicely, I mean, Lenz is a very, very good shot, and uh, he's not going to be missing from there, so uh, definitely one I'd recommend if you're looking for a budget uh, right mid or right winger, Lenz is very, very good, so, anyway, you can see here, continue on uh, to Guzman going through, and uh, easily finishing that one, I will say, because his goalkeeper is well off his line, well out of position, and uh, yeah, he made it easy for him, so a nice goal from him there. And uh, that is how the game finished. It finished 4 2. So uh, a nice game, um, or a nice scoreline even for us, and uh, we uh, continue on our road to glory. Uh, next, we're going to go back into the arena and sign ourselves a player, and you can see here I'm buying De Jong from Man City, um, very solid, probably one of the, in fact, probably the best um, centre defensive mid uh, for Holland, so um, didn't really have any choice in buying him, and we pop him into our team into the right centre defensive mid slot, uh, we got him in the right formation and everything, so uh, not too bad, he was only 800 coins, which is absolutely amazing, just because, uh, you know, when you're looking for the best position, you're thinking you're going to have to buy or pay quite a lot for it. Anyway, we're going to the next game. We come up against this 4-3-2-1. Uh, um, Mata, Kalu, uh, Cisse. And then his right and left backs just don't get any sort of linking points into the team. Well, actually, Marcelo, was, but his right back doesn't. So uh, he's not running around on full chemistry. And he was the one that I was targeting all game. So uh, you can see here Lens chopping past one player and happily finessing that home. Very, very nice goal. But, um, you know, he shouldn't be letting me get into that sort of position in the first place so uh, that's his problem anyway you can see here Lenz again um, try tricking one of his players and uh, Van Persie look I literally walked to the goal and he just doesn't close me down so I was always going to smash that in 
you can't leave Van Persen on his left foot, so um, his mistake, I guess. And uh, anyway, we continue on. You can see here um, getting the ball off uh, David Luiz, which is very, very rare, and then uh, chipping the goalkeeper with the Guzman. I mean, it's very difficult to get the ball off David Luiz ever, so I was really happy to see that one go in. And um, you can see here, he gets a penalty. I'm not really sure why. I'm still trying to figure out what happened. I didn't, don't think I actually touched him, but um, he gets a penalty anyway. And uh, he scores it, which is a bit annoying, but uh, you can't really help that sometimes. I mean, these penalty decisions are kind of a bit iffy, I would say. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Um, it doesn't really make much difference to the scoreline. Brings it back to 3-1. And uh, although he scored with Joe Barton, um, Joe Barton actually ends up getting sent off before the end of the game. So I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't too bothered. And you can see here Van Persie going through uh, to make it 4-1 to us. And, uh, yeah, continuing on. Nice little bit of a passing movement here. And um, Huntelaar just simply running to the goal. And his finesse shot is unbelievable. Look at the curve he got on that um, to put that into the far corner. Great goal from him there to make it 5-1. And uh, continuing on, uh, you can see here Hunslow again through on goal and simply finesses that one home. So 6-1 it was the final score in this game and uh, I, wasn't com I wasn't making any complaints to be honest about that penalty because uh, when you win 6-1 you're not really bothered about the uh, other score. Um, anyway, back into the arena to make a new signing and uh, yeah, we're going to make another informed signing. We're going to be buying Brewers uh, who plays for M. M Gladbach I'm going to say I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce the name of the team but it's in the Bundesliga and he's one of the better centre backs on the game so I picked him up and uh, popped him into our team um, just because he looked pretty solid I mean his defensive stats were very good and uh, I needed some good defence you know although when you play three at the back you're actually looking for a lot of pace because you know these two act like wing backs but um, you know when we've only when we're playing with Holland we haven't got all that much uh, choice as to who we're going to use because there aren't all that many centre-backs. But uh, Brewers is probably third in line as the third best um, defender. And then we go off into our next game and we come up against what I was kind of um, annoyed about. We came up against what is effectively a Newcastle team and he has four Team of the Year players, two informed players, up Ben Arthur. Although he is playing up Ben Arthur in midfield, which is kind of... No, not up Ben Bar from what we're talking about. Up uh, Denver Bar um, in midfield, which is a bit strange. But um, you can see here an absolutely amazing passing move. I would have been happy with this myself um, to get a goal like that. You know, back heels and great passing all over the place. So uh, definitely deserve that goal. See them scoring. And uh, yeah, continuing on, uh, we actually get back into the goal through Van, uh, back into the game through Van Persie here. Absolute bullet, um, that's what he's really good at, just absolutely smashing balls into the back of the net. Um, if you get a bit of free space, I definitely recommend, you know, running onto the ball and just, you know, put your foot for it really with Van Persie, although he does have a very good finesse shot as well. You can see here De Guzman just uh, trying to pass him out. He was uh, quite good at defending and eventually we did pass him out here. Um, pulled out one of his centre-backs and Huntelaar was through and in on goal um, to finesse that home with his left foot. So a nice goal from them there to make it 2-1 to us, although he does come back a couple of minutes later. Um, you can see there, very bad defending from me. Our new guy, uh, Brewers, just not really uh, dealing with that at all well, just chesting it into the path of one of the other players, which is unfortunate. And uh, he gets a goal from that, so uh, makes it 2-2. Although it wasn't long before I uh, got back into the lead. You can see there, chipping up to Van Persie's head and him putting it in nicely for the 3-2 um, goal. And... Uh, Keep on going here. You can see here putting uh, De Guzman through on goal. Well, not De Guzman, but Huntela having a shot and De Guzman deflecting it uh, horrifically into the back of the net. So you can't really say much about it. And uh, we even get a donk on it just before the end of the game in the 89th minute to make it, uh, was that 5 1, 5 2 to us, which was a pretty nice result. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the game finished 5 2. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, please stick around for the next episode. There'll be more signings in that episode. Uh, probably some signings that you want to see. So um, yeah, please leave a like if you could. That would be amazing. And I will see you all next time.